I want to begin by thanking all of the incredible medical professionals, the doctors, the nurses, everybody at Walter Reed Medical Center. I think it's the finest in the world for the incredible job they've been doing. Uh, I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back because we still have to make America great again. We've done an awfully good job of that, but we still have steps to go and we have to finish that job. And I'll be back, I think I'll be back soon. And I look forward to finishing up the campaign the way it was started and the way we've been doing and the kind of numbers that we've been doing. We've been so proud of it. But this was something that happened and it's happened to millions of people all over the world and I'm fighting for them not just in the U.S., I'm fighting for them all over the world. We're going to beat this coronavirus or whatever you want to call it, and we're going to beat it soundly. So many things have happened. If you look at the therapeutics, which I'm taking right now, some of them, and others are coming out soon that are looking like, uh, frankly, they're miracles, if you want to know the truth. They're miracles. People criticize me when I say that. But we have things happening that look like they're miracles coming down from God. So I just want to tell you that I'm starting to feel good. Uh, you don't know over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. So we'll be seeing what happens over those next, co next couple of days. I just want to be so thankful for all of the support I've seen, whether it's on television or reading about it. Uh, I most of all appreciate what's been said by the American people, by almost a bipartisan consensus of American people. It's a beautiful thing to see, and I very much appreciate it, and I won't forget it. I promise you that. I also want to thank the leaders of the world for uh, their condolences, and their they know what we're going through. They know what, as your leader, what I have to go through. But I had no choice because I just didn't want to stay in the White House. I was given that alternative. Stay in the White House, lock yourself in, don't ever leave, don't even go to the Oval Office, just stay upstairs and enjoy it. Don't see people, don't talk to people, and just be done with it. And I can't do that. I had to be out front, and this is America, this is the United States, this is the greatest country in the world, this is the most powerful country in the world. I can't be locked up in a room upstairs and totally safe and uh, just say, hey, whatever happens, happens. I can't do that. We have to confront problems. As a leader, you have to confront problems. There's never been a great leader that would have done that. So that's where it is. I'm doing well. I want to thank everybody. Our First Lady is doing very well. Melania asked me to say something as to the respect that she has for our country, the love that she has for our country. And uh, we're both doing well. Melania is uh, really handling it very nicely. As you've probably read, she's slightly younger than me, just a little tiny bit. And uh, therefore, just we know the disease, we know the situation with age versus uh, younger people. And uh, Melania is handling it statistically like it's supposed to be handled. And uh, that makes me very happy and it makes the country very happy. But I'm also doing well and I think we're going to have a very good result. Again, over the next few days, we're going to probably know for sure. So I just want to thank everybody out there, everybody all over the world, specifically the United States. The outpouring of love has been incredible. I will never forget. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to see Mr. President Trump speaking, and he's fine. He is 74 years old. He took a lot of medication in the last uh, 24 hours. And it's not easy for someone in such an age uh, to handle all this medicine. And in the top of that, the sickness of Corona. Uh, I hope he soon he will be back. As he said, the coming few days is very important to tell how successful the medicine is. And I hope they will be able to uh, get him back to his office soon. And in the same time, the last two days was very awful. Many very scary, filthy comments by those who hate Trump, no matter what, they will hate him, even if he's dying. Uh, the culture of hate is disgusting, and they hate him for no reason. This guy, he brought a lot of jobs, 
many of them they got the checks and I saw a comment of a person saying okay so you got a good care uh, you know what about the rest of people of the rest of us who is dying I, I thought you people are so happy with Obamacare why you want to die I thought Obamacare is what taking care of you this guy he wanted to get rid of it you said no Obamacare have to stay <laughs> okay you have it what is the care why you need to care for the care of, of, of Trump so you are saying to me that he is getting the care well he's a president too I mean what you expect I mean he's a president and by the way when Hillary Clinton she gets sick where she go what ha where where be Joe Biden he go the same hospital don't you know I mean they are really disgusting this is the same hospital for those high official uh, uh, high military rank uh, uh, president vice president etc you know so I mean it's it doesn't matter what he what he does even if he is sick they want to blame him. why you are going there how come we don't cannot go there you know uh, however <clears throat> those who they are dreaming that Trump he will go let us say for the sake of argument your dream come true but look what will happen you will get Mike Pence who is very Christian you know what very mean Trump is not one percent of him so you get rid of Trump you get someone he will name for you the most conservative judges and guess what still they will win the election actually this corona will give more vote to Trump count my words always you know there's people who are good-hearted who they are not Democrat they are not Republican when they see the insult the hate against their president they will vote for him at the end of the day this guy he present USA he don't present himself he is the president of USA so you wish him death they get angry very foolish of you so even when you hate him you are giving him support and that will make him win the election so uh, we pray that uh, President Trump he will get back and we pray he get back soon and the election finish so he can spank this filthy Erdogan who is burning every land around him attacking Armenia when I attack Greece he wanna, you know, he want to invade us Cyprus again he is all over the place he is in Syria he is in Libya and nobody is doing anything because now Trump he need to finish the job he is moving all our bases from Turkey Turkey is done Trump will do it he is moving all our forces from Turkey into Crete in, 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 in Greece and that means Turkey who is bankrupt their lira is down to death they will not have the billions which we pay them every year as an assistant because they give us the base and look at this Erdogan who recite the Quran yet the Quran says in chapter 5 verse number 51 take not the Christians and the Jews as a friends and protectors and the one of you who take them as a friend he is one of them so how he is a Muslim in front of the Muslims but he is one of us in the front of the Quran that is the answer will be in the chapter 3 verse 28 he will say I'm playing taqiyya which means I'm lying to them I don't mean it but how you are lying to them but you give us a land you give us a base and we have more than 50 nukes in it and actually the 50 nukes is the one is hurting the USA because they are afraid that what happened in Iran will be repeated again in Turkey so they are taking slowly moving out slowly and one day Turkey will wake up and they will find zero soldiers in our bases I'm not sure if they took all the nukes yet but I'm think I, I, I'm you know what I'm sure from that they are getting out so I hope that uh, Armenia will get support I hope Trump he will do something because obviously Russia is doing nothing uh, we, they have good relationship and business with with the uh, with the Armenian with the, sorry with, with Azerbaijan and uh, Turkey and obviously look like uh, Putin he betrayed the Armenian he told them I will protect you he told them give me a base I will be there for you they gave him a base and he is just sitting watching as I see until now he is just watching I hope that will change thank you very much for uh, uh, watching leave your comment I will be back live on air in, in, in two days or three days from now right now I am out of the state so I will be back soon and uh, just to show you an, an example of uh, 
of uh, you know those liberals. The liberals is the one like American Airlines, etc. Uh, you know, the, it, it, you can tell they are liberals. You know, they they forbid you to wear a hat of Trump to support Trump, etc. But when you go in the airplane, it's backed up like sardine. So they are asking people to wear mask outside, but the airplane, everybody is next to everybody. I mean, this is the most stupid. I don't know what to say. I mean, you cannot have election meeting Trump, but we can go tens of thousands in the street, burning cars, burning stores, and we are shoulder to shoulder. That's okay. But Trump have a peaceful speech, nice speech in front of people. No, you are spreading Corona. So I don't know. The hypocrisy is amazing, but it's good for us to see it because we learn from the hypocrisy a lot, a lot. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Leave your comment. God bless you. And this is again your brother Christian Prince humbly saying good evening or good day for those who are watching us from Asia and Europe. Thank you. Take care.